and right now people are using USDC or USDT. 70% of all crypto transactions by value are happening in one of those entities, which is like tragic from the cypherpunk perspective because those entities are just receipts circulating on chain representing deposits in the fiat system. Gold ETFs like weren't created until 2000. There's a reason they created them there. It was so that they could create paper gold. And there's strong arguments that there's, you know, a hundred to one paper than there is to physical. And, and that's why they've been able to print 97% of the money, but we haven't seen a 30X rise in the gold price because all of that gold is not actually there. <laughs> one way or another, they figure out how to manipulate the system to take advantage of us and like to continue the Ponzi like as yeah. long as they possibly yeah, can. Yeah. Mouse click when you press a button. No, it's, 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 it's worse. We went from $800 billion in yeah. 2008, 17 years ago. Yeah. And we're at 34 trillion. So my math is 97% of all money has been printed in the last 18 years. The corruption comes from the fact that the money is subjective and it's enforced through social consensus, which turns into political consensus, which turns into corruption, kleptocracy, etc. And the bankers are effectively proof of stake yeah. and like interest goes back to the bankers. So they yeah. get more proof of stake and then they like control the system more and more over time, not less and less. What we're doing is we're trying to develop a system, not for the sake of developing the system, but to create one that's completely independent from fiat. Mm -hmm that allows you to defect from fiat mm -hmm. and never have to go back, no yeah. matter the macro environment. Like that is fundamentally the point of why.